name is Angelo Jan with Freedom Mobile Living. And one of the biggest questions that come up is people really don't understand how I juggle enough to maintain my income. So the secret is to have different types of income producing streams, whether they be an app like Lyft, Uber, maybe a delivery app. It could be a gas app because uh, you can get with get upside. You can make money where you, you start to turning it into uh, an income every month. So the hardest part to do is to know which ones to keep on using because you don't want to waste your time. You don't want to go out there on the road and do a delivery and find out that you're only making fifteen, twenty dollars an hour. <music> your time because uh, one guy told me a long time ago he goes you only have everybody has the same amount of hours every week you only have like 40 hours a week 50 60 if you want to work over but everybody has 40 hours a week it's who you spend that time with or what you do within that time that matters how much income you're gonna make every week if I go do things that don't produce income and I'm in a, the wanting stage of life where I need more money but all my time I spend all my free time I spend on not non producing income uh, then that's crazy because then I'm always like a hamster on a wheel and I'm spilling spending my my time on things and never getting ahead so the important thing to do is to make sure you can maximize your time and don't get caught up where you're just chasing and grinding because uh, I'll give you an example. Lyft and Uber right now are throwing a lot of money out there for uh, bonuses and streaks and hot spots and surges. And it's given a driver or people an opportunity to make a little bit more money. But the trouble with it is short-lived. So something like that should be a bonus. It shouldn't be something you're looking at to make an income. The reason being because it's uh, once they stop that... Then you're back to the same old grind where you were before where you couldn't hardly even make $20 an hour. And so you're just chasing rides all day. I mean, it's got to come to a point where you quit chasing rides. If you can get a rider and keep a rider and that rider becomes an income producer for you, uh, and then over time maybe that increases because that person ends up having you do more services for them, then it just makes sense for me to spend my time to build that type of platform. And that platform I'm talking about is Ride Local. It just makes sense because as I build it, I'm building it and keeping it for me. So if I had a rider that, let's say, took a ride, let's just say once a, once a, once a month, and every month they took a ride, they chose me, I'm going to make three times the amount of money that I would have made off of Uber or Lyft or any other type of platform. Why? Because it's my platform. Ride Local is your own platform. And that, that means if you end up getting a rider, that rider becomes your rider. And so every time that rider requests either a delivery or a ride, it comes right to you. So you're getting 100% of the fares, 100% of the delivery fees, and you're really maximizing your time. Uh, literally, you could work same amount of time you work right now and I've done it I've made over a thousand dollars on Lyft platform working like 34 hours trouble with that I gotta work 34 hours to get to thousand dollars right so with ride local if I was working that same platform you're talking three thousand dollars opposed to a thousand and let's just be real conservative. Even if I made 2,000 on 34 hours opposed to 1,000, the grind would be well worth it. Now the 1,000 is, but once they turn off the bonuses and that streak, 
then what's going to happen is that's going to drop way down to uh, a figure that uh, you're going to be just barely getting by, you know, in order to make ends meet. So look into the Ride Local. Go to ridelocalgr.com. Just look at it. I mean, it's got enough information up there. If you have any questions, give me a call. If you have any questions, you can shoot me an email. We do have a contact page on there as well. If you're inclined to maybe just check it out a little bit and get everything worked out and see if you can drive for Ride Local because you have to pass a background check. Nothing. It doesn't cost you anything as a driver. Um, nothing whatsoever other than the fact that you have to have your own vehicle. So get on ridelocalgr.com, look into it, investigate it. If anything, you can try it out. If it don't work for you, don't work for you. But if you go out and get a client and you get a ride, the amount of money you're going to make on those rides is going to be well worth your effort. Nothing's gained by no type of friction. So if you can get out there and grind and build your own platform, imagine the type of income you can be making. Imagine what things you could be doing. Maybe there's other things you'd like to do, but you just don't have the money to do it. Maybe that will give you the opportunity to do that. Now, check it out. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the notification bell down. And then I'll alert you when I come out with more videos. It is at least better than what we have had. Come on down to the Allegan because we're out here with the Welton Famous Dogs and the Lemon Shake-Ups. It's really unbelievable. I mean, people are just raving about it and they're going crazy about it. They've never tasted a hot dog so fresh, so full of quality. Come on down to Welton Famous Dogs. I tell you what, they tell us you saw us on Facebook and when you come down here, we'll give you a free hot dog. How is that? But if you like what you see in this video, and you're looking to not only reduce your debt, but you're also looking to increase your income. I ask that you subscribe below and hit the notification bell, and that way I'll notify you every time a video comes out. Mm -hmm.